Hey gang, welcome to this month's fiddle video on this rainy, blustery day. Today we're going to be learning a tune called Growling Old Man and Grumbling Old Woman. Fiddle tunes have the best names. I buried my wife and danced on her grave. Nail that catfish to a tree. Neil Gow's lament for the death of his second wife. His first wife didn't get one. Don't really know what the story is there. <laughs> Today's tune is a French Canadian tune and it's a reel. If you want sheet music and practice tracks for the tune, you can get them at the link in the description. You can also get the variation that I teach today as well as a harmony, backup parts, and a chord chart. So first off, let's hear what this tune sounds like. <laughs> finger placements for this tune. The tune is in the key of A Dorian. So I'm going to play an A Dorian scale just to show you where your fingers are going to land. It starts with your first finger on the G string, then second, third, open D, first, second, third, then open A. We're starting the second octave now. First, Low second, third, open E, first, low second, and third. There are a couple places in this tune where we're going to use a high second finger on the A and on the E string, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so that is the key signature. Let's figure out the time signature. This is a real, and so it's in 4-4 four, four time. So the basic rhythm will be something like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so as always, we're going to learn this tune by ear. I'll play a tiny piece and then you can try playing it back. I'll give you a couple chances, but if you don't get it, you can always just go back at the video and go over that section again. As with many fiddle tunes, this has an A part, the first half, and a B part, the second half, and they're each played twice. So let's start with the first phrase of the A part. This is gonna start with your first finger on the G string, and it'll go a little something like this. One, two, Three. Let's try that. I'll tell you the finger numbers this time. One, two, three, one, 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 three, one, 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 two, oh, 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 two, oh, 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 oh. One more time. on the G string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Finger numbers. Three, one, 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 three, one, 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 two, oh, 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 one. One more time. phrase of the A part, it's actually exactly the same 
as the first phrase. Isn't that nice? So let's play it. If you remember, it starts with your first finger on the G string, and it'll go like this. One, two, three. And the final phrase of the A part is the same as the second phrase of the A part, because we are simple-minded folk musicians, and this is on our level. So it'll... <laughs> So it'll go a little something like this, starting with your third finger on the G string. One, two, three, four. All right, so we have actually played the entire A part, and if you notice, the A part is really just one phrase and then the same phrase again. So let's play it all the way through, starting from that first finger on the G string. One, two, three. Part. So you're gonna play that all twice when we play all the way through the tune. One little note about the bowing. I'm using something that's called the Georgia Shuffle. Georgia Shuffle low-key blew my mind, high-key blew my mind when I first learned about it because it gives a tune a really nice groove. This is what a tune sounds like without the Georgia Shuffle. <laughs> The Georgia Shuffle makes it especially awesome. Did you hear that little dicka 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 dicka? That's what you're going for. In this tune, all we're doing for the Georgia Shuffle, we're starting on a down bow for the first note, then an up bow for the next three notes. So it's a really quick down bow, and then those next three notes are on a slower up bow. And you just stay on that pattern through the entire A part. You do down, uh, uh, up, down, uh, uh, up, down, uh, uh, up, just like that. So watch my bow while I play this section of the A part. Down, uh, up, up, down, uh, up, down, uh, up, down, uh, up, down, up. See what I mean? It takes a little practice, but you can get it. Moving briskly forward, we are going to learn the B part. What I love about this tune is it really does kind of sound like an argument. You have this like grumpy sound in the first part. And then the B part is this like squabbly, complainy noise. So that complainy part is what we're on right now. It starts out on the E string. Here is the first phrase. It starts with your open E. One, two, three, go. low and high second fingers. So I'm gonna go through that right now. So it starts on your open E and it goes E, one, E, three, high two, three, E, one, low two, E, three, low two, one, three, one, three. I know that's a lot, we can do it. Here it is once more. High two, low two, low two. Next phrase also starts in your open E. This is what it'll sound like. One, two, three, four. Finger numbers are E, one, E, three, High two, A, high two, three, B, three, three, high two, three.
Okie dokie, let's go on to the third phrase of the B part. Still with me? We got this. Starts on your open E and it'll go like this. One, two, three. that will sound familiar. Here are the finger numbers. E1, low 2, 1, E, 3, high 2, 3, E, 1, low 2, E, 3, low 2, 1, ending which is one of my favorite parts it starts with a low second finger on the A and it goes like this one two three four nice and groovy let's try that so it's low two one low two one a, three, one, O, oh, one, O, oh, three, one. Once more. That's your entire B part. I know that's a lot, but let's give it a shot playing all the way through the B. Starts on your open E string and it goes like this. One, two, three, I'm going to play it now at a slow pace and then at sort of a moderate up to speed pace. You can try playing along if you'd like. So here we go. One, two, three. We are gonna go a little faster. One, two, a one, two, three.
want to play it at lightning speed, you can go back to the beginning of the video where I have the entire tune played all the way through twice at a healthy clip. All right, now that we've learned the basic tune, I'd love to show you a couple of fun ways to make it cool. This variation includes a double stop. It also includes a melodic variation and something called anticipating the beat, which if you've seen some of my other videos, um, I talk about that a little bit as well. So the double stops, that A part goes on for a very long time. And so it's fun to have a way to make it extra interesting. Here's how you can do that with some double stops. So double stops are just playing two strings at the same time with your bow, you want the bow to create sort of a plane across both of those strings. And so the way we're gonna do that in the A part is after the very first few notes, this is where the double stop is gonna come in. It's coming in on that down bow. If you remember the Georgia shuffle thing we talked about, the double stops are pretty much always, I think they are always, on the down bow in this tune. So we're going like this. Pick up notes. The double stop is your first finger over the G and the D strings. And then you play a bit more. And double stop again. So we've got. Going on to the next part, we're gonna play the next few notes. Then on this down bow, we've got a double stop on the G and the D strings, just the open strings. So this part's gonna go. Then we're back to that first finger double stop. Then the open string one. So that's what we've got. on this variation is to leave out just one of those notes. So here's how that would work. After we play, we just leave out one note and then go right on to, so it sounds like this. You can even kind of set the bow back on the strings in that silence. So you go, Same thing with the next pattern. So here's what you get with that pattern. All right, if that doesn't impress your friends, I don't know what will and you should get different friends. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is a melodic variation. So once we reach the B part, yikes. Right here is where we're gonna add in something I love to do. It's this little pattern where you play one note on a higher string and two notes on the lower string. And this winds up sounding pretty cool in reels in particular. So what you're doing is you're playing your low second finger on the E string. Then you're playing your first finger on the A string. You're doing that twice. Then you go back to your E string. You're gonna play the third finger. Yikes, out of tune. Then two of those first fingers again. Then low two on the E. Then first finger on the A again. This is what that sounds like. And you kinda of wanna punch those E string notes a little bit, give them some oomph. So what you've got is. Moving on from there, we've got just the normal tune. But right here where we would have gone to that open E string, instead we're gonna do something called anticipating the beat. What this means is we take the note that would happen on the next downbeat at the beginning of the next measure, and we start it a little before the beginning of the next measure. That first note of the next measure is a low second finger on the E string. So we're just gonna start that note a little early. We're gonna go like this. I just heard the church bells nearby. So here's how that sounds in the context of the tune. We've already gone. At the 
end of the tune, you can add some slides. So on this last little section where you go, you can actually start a few of those notes with your finger a half step lower than the note that you want to end up on. So for example, that first note, your low second finger on the A, you can start it a smidge lower and slide up to it. You can go, kind of cool. So you can do a slide on the second finger. Slide on this first finger. Even a slide on the third finger. And on that first finger. Any and all of that is par for the course. It. That's our whole variation. We're going to do the same thing now, just play it slowly and then at a moderate pace. So, slow version first. I'll tell you what we're doing so that we don't forget. Starts with that first finger on the G string and it'll go like this. Remember, we're starting with those double stops. One, two, three. at a moderate upbeat tempo. One, two, one, two, three. everyone thank you so much for tuning in for today's video I hope it was helpful I hope you enjoyed the tune and the sort of ASMR rain sounds we've had today again if you'd like sheet music and practice tracks for that tune and if you'd like to vote on a follow-up video that I'm gonna make on this tune you can do all of that at the link in the description you'll get sheet music for the tune variation that we learned today even a harmony backup parts and a chord chart plus you'll be in on a whole fiddling community of other fiddlers who are learning these same tunes Plus, I really appreciate your support for my fiddling work. Thanks again, everyone. I hope you're doing well, and I will look forward to seeing you 
in the next video. Have a wonderful day and happy fiddling.